and no less than 30 minutes to an hour if you are in a different area maybe 20 minutes <coughs> so and then you want to go all right well now i've got some food let me go jump into another one of the rides most of the rides as you get later in the day are going to get longer because people have come there they haven't they didn't maybe they didn't rope drop and they just came there later in the day people are trickling in and uh this was on a friday so people leave work or maybe maybe they put in a few hours in the morning what have you so having just a 12 hour window to do all of the rides the food the shows everything that you want when everything is averaging an hour to two hours wait is very tough especially if you're trying to do both parks in that same day because there's at least 12 rides and if you average an hour per ride which i don't think is unreasonable for this weekend if you average an hour per ride that means you can get on 12 rides and that's it you can't do anything else like you can't go to shows you can't get food so the park close times are a big gripe of mine because it's it, it i don't know why they're always just stuck at nine just put them out to 10 or 11 or or even you know you know that this is the busiest time of year put them out till 12 i don't know I don't I don't know why Universal's part times are always at like 9 p.m. But that drives me nuts. It always screws with my planning to try and be like, how do we get all this stuff done in 12 hours? And that's partially on me because we try and do two parks in one day. So it's a lot to try and fit in there, especially with this amount of weight. So it's partially on me, but also just give a few more hours once in a while, Universal, please. Okay, so that's number five. Number four is the food. The food is never fantastic in Universal. I have had good food outside of universal at city walk uh but in universal itself it's a real crapshoot to find good food like that crepe i had with the short rib was pretty good but i'm not gonna go back there and order three crepes throughout the day to get my quota of of fill we went to green eggs and ham uh for the first time and i had the buffalo chicken tots which were all right i mean they weren't bad uh they weren't the best um i thought that they were an okay snack but i wasn't clamoring to go back i'll put it that way if i'm happening by and i maybe want a snack maybe i'll go there but it it didn't wow me um we went to Louis and got a slice of pizza at the very end of the night. Like twelve dollars for a slice of pizza. It was a big slice of pizza, but still, it's mall pizza. Like it wasn't. It wasn't glamorous. It wasn't anything fantastic, you know. Um, got the butter beer. Butter beer was good, but you know that's one out of everything. Um. We didn't get a jacket potato, but I have heard that that's good. Um, I I just didn't really want to have a giant potato in the middle of my day. Um, and then every a lot of other places just have like burgers or shakes or like really heavy food that I just don't want in my stomach walking around all day. I hear you saying to yourself. Nico, you went to Today Cafe not that long ago, and that food was good, right? Right. <clears throat> I will say that Today Cafe was an exception to that rule. Uh, and I probably should have gone there this weekend and got 
something, but I didn't. And I think the reason why number four on my list is the food is because it's a shame on Universal that for the Christmas season, they don't have more food readily available than the ones just at their normal things. Like, they do it for Mardi Gras that they have pop-up stands where they serve different types of food for Mardi Gras at Universal at pop-up stands. I don't know why they don't do it for Christmas. Like, it's the busiest time of year for your park. Dole out some food. Like, get get some... I don't know. Uh, get some cranberry sliders or something or you know some or you know oh, spiked eggnog or something just or like cookie dough wrapped in chocolate and call them coal i don't know i'm just throw, i'm just spitballing ideas but they don't have any extra stuff at universal for christmas and i don't understand why it's the busiest time of year get more food and, and interesting food and special options. It's just a big disappointment. So much so that we actually left Universal that night, came home and ordered something because we were hungry because we didn't get a good amount of food at Universal. And I will say that's not the first time I've done that on a trip to Universal since I've been here. And that's disappointing. You should make me want to eat all of your food. And that should be my problem to decide what I can and can't eat, what I could and could not uh, stuff myself with. That's not a problem at Universal. That's kind of a shame. <clears throat> so number three is the layout of Harry Potter land. So, the only things that are special Christmas time stuff in, uh, in the parks are kind of in Seuss land and Harry Potter. So in the Harry Potter area, they have Garland, they have their shows are much more focused towards Christmas, musical songs and things like that. And it, they have a light show on the uh, on the castle. So truth be told, like they do do Christmas stuff that's focused on Harry Potter, which is nice. The problem is is that the layout of, and I've talked about this before, but the layout of uh, Diagon Alley is just bad. I know it's authentic because it's based on, uh, so it's based on the Diagon Alley from the books, which is based on a specific way, uh, a specific street area in Edinburgh, Scotland. But um, it's just so tough to maneuver on the normal season. Because I've mentioned this before. There's a giant dragon on top of Gringotts at Breeze Fire every 10 minutes. Uh, so everyone stays in that main area watching with their phones trying to record the dragon. There's also a food area there. There's also the ice cream area there. There's also tons of shopping areas on both sides and it's a very narrow street area. So yes, it's authentic, but there are hundreds of people crammed in there going in and out of these buildings at any given time trying to experience this land by being so packed in because of the layout so it's, it's just so tough to do in a normal season never mind christmas 
when it is the most packed in the parks that it is insane trying to do anything in Harry Potter area because it is a hugely popular IP. And you know people are going to hang out there, especially since you've now made it Christmas themed. <sighs> it's just so tough for me to to want to go there in the Christmas season, knowing that there is, I'm going to say 50% of the park in both of those areas. So I don't love the layout. Now, the Hogsmeade side is slightly better but it's still really confusing like because uh, uh, because of everything that was going on we straight up walked past a ride like on a normal day i 100 percent would have known where that ride was i've rode it multiple times <clears throat> but we walked past it because we were so busy trying to get through this narrow area that we just walked right past it because we were trying to move along and stay with the, the traffic. So it's just not great. The layout of the Harry Potter area is not great. Uh, I will give an honorable mention, mention on the top five best to just the Christmas stuff in the Harry Potter area because it was really nice to see. But man, those crowds in those areas, the layout of how tight it is in there, it's just not worth it. Number two, I've mentioned a couple of times in different capacities, but now it has its own devoted number, is the crowds. You can't avoid it. It is the busiest season at all these parks. The crowds are intense i don't even have um claustrophobia but i was feeling very claustrophobic from all of the people around uh it is it's tough because there's scooters there's uh uh carriages there's people just stopping to take pictures in universal selfie sticks are not outlawed so uh so people have their selfie sticks you got to avoid there's you know groups of like 12 people or like eight kids and all these things that like are running hither and thither and like 